Hey what is up guys, today I'm going to show you how to enable and disable the steam overlay and I'm going to show you how to do it for all games and individual specific games as well. The steam overlay is a section which gives you additional information about a game so it will show you your friends, your achievements, guides, your screenshots and you can also force quit out of this as well using a force quit link here. So as you guys can see I am in a game right now and if I was to press the shift and tab key on my keyboard it will bring up the overlay and if I press shift and tab again it will get rid of it. Now some people might not like this, some people don't like the steam overlay, some people do prefer it. So in today's video I'm going to quickly show you how to enable it and how to disable it for all of your games and also how to enable and disable it for specific individual games. Alright so once you're in the steam client just go to Steam on the top there and then click on settings and if you go to the section which says in game there should be a link here that says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Now if you were to untick this it's going to disable it for all of your games so if you start playing different games it's never going to show it. If you tick this it's going to show it for all of your games so it's down to you. Some people don't like to use it at all so you can just untick this and it will never show you an overlay ever again. If you want to do it for specific individual games, then keep this ticked and click OK. Now go to your library. Now once you're in your library, you can right click on any of the games on the left list or you can just right click on any of the game icons, click on properties and when you go into the properties you'll see there is a bit here in the general section and you can enable and disable it for each individual game. So as you can see for the Elder Scrolls Online I've got it disabled but if I was to right click on Black Desert and go to properties you can see that it is enabled for that game. So if I was to play Black Desert I would have the Steam Overlay, if I was to play Elder Scrolls Online I would not have the Steam Overlay. So that is how you can enable and disable the Steam Overlay for all your games or individual specific games. And it's that easy guys. If you found this video useful please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about the Steam Overlay or any of the settings, please do leave them in the comment section below. And also, please do subscribe to this channel to help support and help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.